Okay, I'm going to carry on this energy strip down. Well, um, I'm going to be moving the cylinder on this one. So what I'm going to do is going to turn it until the piston's at the bottom. And that way you've got less piston in the cylinder. It should be easy to remove. Free now. Yeah, pretty easy. There's your your followers. They move up and down when the camshaft turns, lifting your push rods and opening your valves. Your cam is there the lobe sticking out that way at the minute so when it comes to the top it'd lift over your exhaust or your inlet valves so pretty simple really wire in Pull this to clip out. I'm going to do this off. Well, I'll try it. Okay, so I pulled the circle clip out. You just get under it and pull it, pull it out. But it can be difficult. I'm going to pull the good jumping out. Or wrist pin, you can get a puller for this, but this one's loose. So, you have to check the sizes of these. So, I've only got some micrometers, but uh, vernier calipers, zero it. You check the size of them for wear. You don't want any wear in any of this stuff. Check the internal diameter of the con rod if you can but you need probably better tools than what I've got check the skirt of the piston for wear the same 56 probably need micrometers for that you got to be pretty precise and the barrel I'm going to be checking for where in about three different places but you can get tank the cylinder bore gauges for that but it's all equipment I ain't got anymore so I can't film it and that's it you can just rebuild it now so basically you want to cover it in oil when you rebuild it Make sure your rings are set up. You have to make sure the gaps are not near each other. You set them at 120 degrees apart. So like one there, one round this side. Then you've got three here. This is the oil ring. You want one gap to the left, one gap to the right and one in the centre. I'll show you a picture of that at the end, it's, it's easy to see a drawing of that and explain it. Right, pistons back on, that was really fiddly, circlet's back in, again really fiddly but just take your time and you can do it. Make sure you're inlet and your exhaust, your pistons the right way round. And then comes another fiddly bit, fitting the crank the uh, cylinder over the top of it. Make sure it's the right way round. And somehow you gotta try and get the cylinder over the top of it. Yep. 
you can get piston ring compressor tools but I haven't got one Yep, it's just slotted on there. So that's why you oil it so you don't mark the barrel. Make sure the valves follow us, seat correctly, and that is on. So there you go, pretty easy, just a matter of barrel off, making sure all the measurements are correct, check your manual for all the measurements, use the proper tools and make sure you fit everything in the correct order. Really easy to do.